You are now tuning in to DJ Don Every Monday from 2 to 4 We love Don Kooji the, 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 the Daily Note Lino. Lino. Oh. Yo, what up, though? Welcome to the special, like, Blizzard edition of TDM Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard edition TDM Radio. That's exciting. That should be a hashtag. It, it could S- be a hashtag Someone get on today. that. Someone make that a hashtag. Thank uh, you, Jenna. But, anyways. This is the first official show with Hobby as the official co-host. Yeah, welcome yeah. welcome I am to the here. show. Thank You're you, here, bro. Bruce, thank you. Absolutely, man. Right, it feels good to, like, offici- like this is my mic. This, this, is, is, no, your, this you- is no longer, like, <laughs> mic number two. Nah, this you, is, it's Hobby. That's this it. This is Mike's Hobby. It's Mike X. Hobby's Mike X. No, that's not kind of weird. That sounds kind of sus. This is my mic. That's, <laughs> that's it. it. Nah, but now nah, we, we got an exciting show. We're currently waiting on UFC fighter Sean Soriano. He's on his way. Yeah, he's he's fighting his way through this blizzard right now. Ooh, like, play on words. I like he's it. He's a fighter, so he fights through okay. like, multiple things in life, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. doesn't only punch people. <laughs> he doesn't just punch <laughs> And we're back. We back on, and our guest has arrived. The our special hour. guest, man of the hour and a half. The man of like the week, honestly. The man of the man of the year. Why, why not? Let's let's just call it as, as it is. Yeah. Special special friend in the building. Like he's like a. He, let's just call you my brother. You're a brother to me. That's it. Fan. Everyone everyone at TDN fam. Absolutely. Freaking. He's a. He's basically a local hero to our city, Mr. PVD himself. UFC's own Sean Soriano. Welcome to the building, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. Chilling, man. I'm just chilling, relaxing, taking some time off. Thank you for joining us today, man. Uh, I'm super excited. Thanks for having me. This yeah. is our first official guest of the new year. Definitely. With our new co-host. With what new up, co-host. Hobby? What's up, guys? <laughs> nah, I'm I'm definitely excited for today's show. Yeah, like Absolutely. Sean, Sean, actually, like, uh, I'm I'm inspired by Sean. Tell, me and Sean do a lot of the same tell things. Tell him how you know Sean. Well, you I met Sean through wrestling at yeah. Hope. I was a uh, captain at Hope, uh, the wrestling team there since like my freshman year, yep. and my coach, his brother yeah. Eddie German, a- yeah. ended up introducing us. Uh, he came and we actually trained together. Mm-hmm. He helped coach uh, coach my team uh, throughout the season. Yep. New Foyes, real, real big inspiration, helped me out a lot during mm-hmm. the wrestling season. Yeah, I um. I ain't wrestling nothing, but you know, I used to go to training and watch them or whatever. <laughs> you know, watch them, yeah. Moral support, whatever, unofficial mascot, you know. Home wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, welcome to the show. Let's get straight into the interview, man. A lot of questions. A lot of questions I don't even know the answers to. Yo, man, where did it all begin with you? Where did fighting start with you? Well, I wrestled at Mount Pleasant, and then uh, I ended up winning states my senior year, so I kind of had that as a background. Yep. And I went to CCRI, and I kind of needed something to do competitively and then uh I got in contact with a guy from the UFC, Jorge Rivera. And then it kinda started from there. I just fell in love with it and then I just kept going. I put some goals and then started going towards those goals. That's dope man. Now did you uh did you like reach out to Jorge or did it just kinda like was he a, a colleague? Or actually associate? he actually reached out to me. He saw my my MySpace profile picture. Yeah, back funny. in MySpace days. Yep, MySpace days. That's crazy. <laughs> and he sent me a message. And then I told him I was going to try out for baseball, but that didn't go well. And then, uh, <laughs> obviously, I started fighting. Basically, you just needed something to keep yourself competitive. Yeah, there you go. Keep keep the adrenaline yeah. running. I feel it. Yeah, baseball's a lot different than, uh, oh, than just a wrestling little bit. or fighting or yeah. anything like just that. Just a little bit. Like, whatever. Yeah. You get hurt in most points, I guess. I tried baseball for a little bit. I got so bored. Half the time you're playing, you're sitting down. I, I'm right there with you. You need you need that little bit yeah. of adrenaline to keep you going. Makes need, you feel like you're doing something. I needed something to take aggression out. So and you found that something, I man. I found that something. <laughs> what was your What was your first fight like, man? Um, my first fight was it wasn't bad. It was kind of it was kind of fast. Like I didn't really realize I was in a fight till he hit me. I was in, then he hit me hard. I was like, oh, okay, we can really do, <laughs> we can really swing. Okay. So then uh. But it it was easy. I took him down and uh, I kind of ground and pounded him out in the first round. So you got the early W. But that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Then that's when they got. That's when the, the adrenaline and the I really started liking it because you get that taste of the victory. And then you're like, ooh, okay. Yeah, no doubt for sure. Yeah. And you were prior to being part of Black Zillions, you were part of like other teams. How did all that happen? And how did you get to to the point of being with Black Zillions? I was. Uh, I was also. Our rivals now, American Top Team, I was part of them before when I moved in 09 to Florida. And then uh, I parted ways with them, and then I got in contact with somebody from the Black Zillions, and they brought me down. And I've just been there since. 
kind of like chilling. Yeah. yeah. How was? Like yeah. How was? How was that like? Growing up in Providence, wrestling at Mount Pleasant all throughout high school, you being a product of Providence and then yeah. having to move down to Florida and seeing a whole new scene and like adapting to that. How how your yeah. lifestyle switch? At up? first, it was hard, you know, because especially at 19 years old, 20 years old, 21. You know, all your friends are partying, and you're, like, by yourself in a brand-new city that you don't know nobody. So, at first, it was tough, but then I just knew what I wanted to do, and it just kind of became a daily thing. And then uh, the second time around has been easier now. Uh, I've I've gone through it once. I, I've been away from home, and now it's easier to be home away, you know? Yeah, no doubt. You walked that road already. Yes, sir. Definitely, yeah, because, like, once you start kicking into gear, like, even throughout, like, wrestling season for me, once you start, it's kind of hard to stop. Yeah. And, like, like yeah, you said, once you fall right. in love with it, it's like, and you know that's what you want to do, it's it's really easy to just kind of stay on that road and keep yeah, going. Yeah, with anything, you know. If you put 150 in, you'll get 150 back, so. What's it like coming back here now? Like, you went to Miami, in the UFC now. What's it like coming back to Providence? It gotta be a great feeling, man. Being everyone showing love. Providence is home, man. Uh, I, there's a lot of things I love about Providence that I hate about Miami. So <laughs> it's like vice versa, you know. But uh, Providence is is always good. It's always good to me. So I I enjoy coming home. And how important is it for you to represent Providence while like, when you're anywhere else, Spe especially being from a place where like not too many people have like really made it out of here. Yeah. No, I I find it important, especially you know to influence other kids in Providence that there's a ways out, not just being in here stuck, you know? Got you. So I try to represent well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that that kind of leads into like what I was going to ask you next. I was going to I was gonna say like, how does it feel to be a role model for like the youth in Providence? And I heard you like, well, I seen, because we friends on Facebook, yeah. cause, you know, me and Sean cool like that. <laughs> but nah, nice. I seen uh, you went back to Mount Pleasant to give yeah. back, and you like you always been working with Hope, like yeah. wrestling programs there. How was that, man? How Good was your experience. Uh, I got to talk to the kids. I got to wrestle a little bit with them and uh, teach them a couple of things. And uh, it's it's good to go back. You know, it just brings you, it humbles you a little bit. You kind of walk the same path as these kids are walking now, so it's kind of cool. No doubt. Yeah. Wrestling room look a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. You, when you were there, you were down in the boiler room, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, we a, still we still around there, but they just different. Yeah, they different. Yeah, that's fun. Absolutely. But we gonna come back with Sean. We got a few more smackers to play because it is TDN Radio. It we got the smackers on deck. You know that. Yeah. But we got we got Sean. Still a few more questions to ask. So here we go. Like you said, we back. We are back. back. To the interview. Sean we still, still got there. the superstar himself, Sean Soriano. Oh, Snow still falling too. Yeah. Heavy. He can't too wait heavy. to get out. Too heavy. <laughs> Why are there people still walking around outside? Because down still open, bro. Yeah, but they could have used their meals earlier. They would have been. You right. They would have been set. They got prepared. You right. They could have right, been right. chilling, cozy in their room, listening yeah. to CDN. They could have, but you know, whatever. They don't. They don't be preparing. That's cool. Whatever. I still people still listening. Shout out to the listeners. Shout out to shout out to Team Soriano. They listen. Yeah. Hey. You know. But yeah, we back, man. SD, what up? <laughs> SD, what up, though? <laughs> but yeah, we gonna, we gonna ask more questions, man. Who in the uh, UFC inspires Sean, man? man Who uh, that you personally, like, look up to? A couple of my teammates. You know, I got, like, Vito Belfort on my team. Shout out to Anthony Johnson, who just fought on Saturday. Um, guys like my roommate, Abel Trujillo. You that know, I just, I take a little bit of everybody that I'm around, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember just going on the like the the, the team site. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, we stopped. Nah, I'm I'm good. I met him in like, person. Killers. I was scared, yo. <laughs> like he, he like he he came out of nowhere. I was like, yo, like you huge, like. Hey, but he's mad nice though. Okay. That's usually how it is. But like, intimidating. That's all, yo. Absolutely, man. No doubt. I I seen Sean. Sean Sean was jamming to Pretty Flacco. Yeah. I was wondering. Like when you like when I was training, I always had some music on, especially when I was by myself in the gym doing whatever. Yeah. What like what music do you listen to? Cause like, there's kids in like my my high school that I used to wrestle with. I'm I'm calling them out. My boy Abel. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know Abel. Yeah. Abel listened to Disney like Disney classics oh, on his like on the bus rides over, and he would get pissed. He'd like listen to like Little Mermaid and like some crazy stuff. Yeah. But then he'd go out and kill kids. So like, what do you listen to? Everybody got their own different things. I I stick to my hip hop, you know. Who's y'all listening to right now? I was on with some Nipsey Hustle right now in the car. With, gotcha, gotcha. With my uncle. Not you a bad know. choice. You good? Uncle yeah. What up? We just Shout out to him. And uh, just chilling. Yeah, they usually ask me to play music in the gym, so I gotta keep up. 
I got my man. Don <laughs> now, Cruz now, with me. now, when you're training with the team, does, is there like a, a certain job? Like I know they said, like the you play the music. Is there any other like funny little things that team kind of designates things? Yeah, to? the new guys clean the mats. <laughs> That's the most important you know, job. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm not one of those. <laughs> you're not a new dude. Nah, no, not no more. You getting there, man? What's next for you, bro? bro? I'm here till Monday, and then I uh, go back, start training, get start to get work on getting better, you know, yeah, better. and just just keep pushing, you know. That's, that's good you said that because it ties into like my next question. Yep. What are your strengths, and where do you feel like you can improve as a fighter? Um, where I can improve as a fighter is definitely go back to my wrestling, you know, and my grappling. I kind of faded away from that because I kind of like standing up with people, but um, and then just putting it all together couple of little things, you know, and then just gaining experience. This game, fight game's a, a rough game, so nah, the experience comes in the par, you know. What makes, what makes you different from every other fighter in the division, if there's anything, which there has yeah. to be, because you didn't make it all pure luck. I guess my, I don't know, my work ethic, you know, I work hard. And what drives so, uh, you? What drives me? <laughs> Staying away from here. Dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, He's like, I gotta, yeah. I gotta say, place where it's warm. I yeah, you know. Palm trees and lemonade. I like palm trees, so. We all like palm trees, man. It's just, it's just reaching goals, you know, making mm -hmm. dreams come true. No and, doubt, no uh, doubt. And like, uh, on the road to like make those <laughs> dreams come true. Um, when, when did you feel like it was that transition from? fighting and wrestling and stuff is is your hobby and something you do to when you realized this is something I could do to support myself throughout life and support my family mm -hmm. and like what have you sacrificed along the way if anything well yeah like I said I moved away from all my friends and family so that was a sacrifice and um uh when did this I guess when I first won when, when I won my first fight on live tv that's when I was kind of like, okay. That definitely This is like, you know. That's a confidence booster. Right yeah. There. Went on TV. Definitely. A little something, whatever. I feel it. Yeah. It was a good performance, too, so. Was that the one that was here? No, that's the one that the, the guy was squirting blood. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a different one. <laughs> I went to, like, one yeah. fight with Sean. I flew from um from Georgia. Yeah. Bought, bought a ticket. I didn't even have a job oh, either. Oh, wait, so, you told me this. Yeah. So I went to the fight. I'm like, I'm about to see Sean fight. about to be it. Knocks him all in like 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. I, like, I was happy, obviously. Because, like, he got a win. I was like, damn. You you were mad at the same time. I was like, like, damn. Like, I know that was dope, but, like, you should have made it worth like, it. Worth not even one round, son. Like, that's it. <laughs> I need one of those again, though. You just bullied him, man. That was funny. That was a great one right there. Yeah, that was. That was a good one. Yeah, so, all right. So, winning, like, one of your, your major fights now compared to winning, like, a wrestling match in high school does that still feel the same because like I remember it felt real good to win a match in high school or, like win states in high school do something like that is it the same feeling it's close it's a little different but it's close like when I win states is a whole different feeling than when I win the fight but obviously the, the every fight from now on is my biggest fight so gotcha. like the victory probably gonna be sweeter than no some, of the, some of my wrestling matches but there's certain wrestling matches that would always win stick with you you know yeah for sure for sure what's a significant fight that you've had so far in your career that like really stands out to you amongst other that one that first one on live tv that first that's that's the one yeah. right there so is it go to one yeah i, I got that. to showcase a little bit of everything you got you got that fight on tape yes yeah, it's on youtube oh where? yeah yeah you're gonna send, send me that link after yeah. oh, this, this is gonna be a 40 second video but it's gonna be cool no not that, <laughs> that one's on too but that one's still yeah. to this day i'm just like wow it's cool though <laughs> That's dope, man. That's sick. Any idea on the next fight, or do we just kind of wait? Uh, I'm probably going to head hang, like, April, May. April, May? Yeah. Right. I'm going to take some time off and just hit the gym. No doubt. Okay. That's I'm dope, man. Looking forward to that. For sure. One more question before we get into the music break. So you, you went back to um, Hope, as you said earlier. Yeah. What do you have to say to inspiring fighters, wrestlers, anyone who wants to do what you do? What do you say to anyone who's just inspired through you? That it's uh it's not a quick career, it's not a long, quick, fast thing that you're just going to come in the gym and gonna get better in. This sport takes time, and uh, if you really want to do it, then you can do it. Just got you just got to be patient and consistent with it. Patience and consistent. Yep. That's, that's, those are the words of the day. Uh, that's, that's the words, and, like, that's, that's the truth, because, like, yeah, honestly, there was a point where, like, 
I was getting real into it in high school, and I was I was like really feeling fighting. I was like maybe I maybe I want to try and take it to the next level, go like MMA or something. And then like yo, I I really respect everyone that does stuff like that Absolutely. because he's not joking when he says it's a lot of time in the gym, it's a lot of work. It's like yeah. MMA isn't just like once fight us out. It's literally like everything. It's mm-hmm. mixed martial arts, and like you have to take time to train every single like aspect of it to get good, and especially to make it to like the level that Sean's at, signed in the UFC, have a contract like. That's a tremendous amount of work, and like seriously, if anyone's like trying to do that, hey, take yes. those words of advice. Yeah, for sure. We got it. We gonna come back with Sean. Got Javi here as well. We gonna play a new a fab joint. Going for the winner. Love this joint. Get that album if you don't have it. And we're back. We are back. We just watching the fight. I'm still watching it, yo. This is like <laughs> this, is insane. this guy is not having a good time nah. with Sean in the ring. That's what Sean does, though. We, uh, we, I'll, we gotta, I'll tweet out I'll like tweet out the link to the video You guys can watch Sean in action Yo, He's going hard Louis actually tweeted the link He tweeted mad links Oh well, Louis shout out on, to Louis Louis's on point I'll just retweet Louis. Louis then You should I'll, do that That make more sense That's a wake him up though He's slacking He's sleeping on the job He's sleeping on the job What's wrong with him I was like what are you guys like sleeping I was like You're right. He's a reporter in the field He got it But yeah man Me too <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah, Dimitri's just excited. He's like, Dimitri's always he's excited. excited. That's just like, Dimitri. Yo, this, guy's, he's, this guy's still bleeding. He's still trying to fight. Nah, yo. That's what happens in the, in the UFC. <laughs> Dimitri right, obviously ain't cut out. But yeah. <laughs> but we back. <laughs> I hate you guys, yo. <laughs> but yeah, we back with Sean. Sean's Sean still in the building. He's watching this fight. He's killing it. Stefan had a few questions. We gon' yeah, we gon' ask. <laughs> we gonna, we, have, we, have we gonna really, pick like one of those. We gonna pick like so. a really good one that actually made sense. Don't have no good one. I promise you, he has a good one. <laughs> he he threw out ten bad ones first, though. Nah, yeah, he he threw out like a few really bad ones. That's, but we 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 gonna we gonna neglect those and talk about the good ones. He asked, in your career, what have you learned the most thus far? Patience and consistency is what gets you where you want to be. Uh, it's not always going to go your way, but if you're patient and you're consistent, it will come your way. That's what I learned the most. Really? Yep. Nothing else? No. Nah. I mean, I learned how to fight, but, you know, that's that's only going to last me for how long? But, how long and, yeah, in life, <laughs> you know, just there's going to be bumps in the road. And just, just keep going through. How do you bounce back? I mean. Like, besides patient, like, how, no, yeah. how do you bounce back? Like do you ever like do you ever get disappointed or do you just kind of no you of course you get disappointed you know there's gonna be low points in in, in everyone's career yep. I feel like um but you just gotta you gotta remember the ultimate goal instead of just the short term ones you know and then keep pushing to get that ultimate goal and then them short term ones will be accomplished as the way up you know that's how that's how I bounce back because if I stop dwelling on one loss two loss then my mind gonna go crazy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, wrestling coach always told me like, never, never look at it as a loss. Look at that L as a learning moment. That's it. Like, you, you have your videos of your, like your matches, your tapes, whatever. Go back, study it, see what you did wrong. Yeah. Just like, just try and fix it. Exactly. That's you, you mentioned the ultimate goal. What is, what's something you need to accomplish while you're in the UFC? The belt. That's, That's it. That's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm not doing it just to be like. A UFC fighter. No, I want that belt. So I like belts. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like to hear. It's like, that's what I like to hear too. A lot of people get real philosophical with that question. Yeah. No, it's like, I just want to accomplish like, Sean's just like, yeah, I just want that belt. Yeah. He's like, I want to like, wear it to the supermarket like when yeah. I buy grapefruits and stuff. I will wear it to the supermarket, <laughs> to the club. You're going to be pumping gas. You were a champion. Back home. Yeah, I have two belts. Do you still have them? Oh, that's crazy. I always wanted that. Like, yeah, what, what you do with it? Is it just like... One's here and then one's right next to my... My bed. Got it over the mantle. Just yeah, chilling. Right, right next to it. Sit Shining. back, drinking that protein shake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Sean's coming after the belt. Yep. He's going to do it, too. You got to yes, bring sir. back to Providence, show. Yeah, no Providence way. versus everybody. Yes, sir. Got Always. it on his chest all the time. Absolutely. Always. Yo, how, how hard is it to get one of them shirts? No, not hard at all. I got a, I got the kid's number right here, so I'll, I'll leave you guys with the kid's number. All right, dope, dope. So, yeah, shout out to him. Got to represent for Providence. For sure. Sean just got the win on the video. I'm still, wa- like, I'm still watching yeah. it. How long is this video? That long was like 30 minutes. 37 minutes. 
Sean, like you should have went to this fight. Sean, Sean would have made it your money worth. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think your brother, your brother, your brother's house was packed for this fight. So. <laughs> yeah, so I went to this fight right now on YouTube. Everyone in the back watching this fight. <laughs> Everyone intrigued, yo. Yo, I gotta, I, I can't, I, I want to, I need to go to the next fight. Unfortunate, unfortunate events happened. Unfortunate events happened where I couldn't go to the fight that just happened. Shout out to Uncle Time. Next time you're around, I'll be in there. Yeah, definitely. The one you in Foxwoods, man, I, I want to go. I was working. Sucks. Yeah, I know that that one. That was not a good one. This one was better. Mm -hmm. This one was better. It's gonna keep getting better too. For sure. <laughs> so, before we wrap this up, Sean, yes, sir. any last, no, any shout outs? Shout out to DN Radio, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, Absolutely. Man. Thanks for coming, man. Always, man. Appreciate the love. Guests to make the show. Hey, there that's you true. Go. And you the biggest I mean, guest we've had this far. That's nah, it. not even. Yeah, you got a Family. blue check now. Ah, <laughs> that's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a blue check next to your Twitter name now. I know, yeah. You're not just anybody, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just anybody. I got yeah. 75 likes off Sean. Hey. Yo, that's what's up. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about to start retweeting like Sean on a daily basis. Well, I, mean, I need to get up on Twitter. Nah, I was stupid. Every, every time oh, Sean tweets me on Twitter, I kid you not, I get a new MMA like person to follow me. Oh. Every time. And then they, they DM after, like, follow us. I'm just like, nah. <laughs> Sean do it for the belt. Please Sean the only fighter I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sean the only fighter I know for real. But, yo, thank you for coming, man. Thank Take you, guys, man, for schedule. real. For sure. Thank coming you out in a blizzard. Come, hey, he came in a blizzard. That's real. He walked, too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's part of his training, son. <laughs> but, yeah, we got everyone in the building right now. We're going to yep. keep playing the smackers. Sean's still here. Javi here. We just, we going to keep it going. Let here's, it ride out, man. Here's Tao's favorite joint. Here's that wrist. <laughs> it's got, real cold. You, you gotta kill it. You gonna kill it? Of course. Alright, we see out.